Did you know that on December 12th, 2023, you might witness a cosmic dance between an asteroid and a star? That's right. On that night, a large rock named 319 Leona will pass in front of a bright star named Betelgeuse and block its light for a few seconds. This is called an occultation, and it is a rare and valuable opportunity to study both objects in detail. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about this amazing event, such as what are the objects involved, what are their characteristics, and what are the expected results. I will also explain how you can observe this event from your own backyard and what kind of equipment and software you will need. So stay tuned and enjoy this cosmic dance. Let's start with the asteroid that will occult Betelgeuse, 319 Leona. An asteroid is a small rocky body that orbits the Sun, usually between the planets Mars and Jupiter. There are millions of asteroids in the solar system, and they come in different shapes, sizes, and compositions. Some of them are as small as a pebble, while others are as big as a mountain. Some of them are round and smooth, while others are irregular and jagged. Finally, some of them are made of metal, while others are made of rock or ice. However, 319 Leona is one of the larger asteroids, with a diameter of about 75 kilometers. That's about the size of a small city. It has an irregular shape that resembles a potato, and it reflects about 20% of the sunlight that hits it. It belongs to the Flora family, a group of rocky asteroids that share a common origin and orbit. The Flora family is thought to be the source of many meteorites that fall on Earth, which means that some of the rocks you see on the ground may have come from 319 Leona, or its relatives. This asteroid was discovered in 1891 by Auguste Charlois, a French astronomer who worked at the Nice Observatory. He named it after his wife, Leona. It has an elliptical orbit that takes about 3.5 years to complete. Sometimes it comes closer to the Sun than Mars, and sometimes it goes farther away than Jupiter. This means that its temperature and brightness can vary a lot, depending on its position and distance from the Sun. Leona is interesting to study because it can tell us about the origin and evolution of the Flora family and how it relates to the history of the solar system. It can also help us understand the dynamics and stability of the asteroid belt and how it interacts with other planets and objects and assess the risks and opportunities of asteroid collisions with Earth or other planets. For example, some asteroids may contain valuable resources, such as metals, minerals, or water, that we could use for exploration or colonization. But some asteroids may also pose a threat, such as the one that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Now, let's move on to the star that will be occulted by 319 Leona Betulgeuse. As you might know, we have been covering all the latest news and studies made on Betulgeuse in our previous videos, such as the mysterious dimming that occurred in 2019 and 2020, the possible rotation and shape changes that were detected, and the potential impact of a supernova on Earth and life. If you haven't watched them yet, you can find them in the description below. Betelgeuse is a huge ball of gas that produces light and heat by nuclear fusion, which is a process that converts hydrogen into helium and releases a lot of energy. There are billions of stars in the universe, and they come in different colors, sizes, and brightnesses. Some of them are blue and hot, while others are red and cool. Some of them are small and dim, while others are large and bright. It is an interesting star to study because it is a variable star, which means that its brightness changes over time. It can vary from being the sixth brightest star to the twelfth brightest star in a matter of months. This is because it has a strong stellar wind, a magnetic field, and spots on its surface that affect its light output. It is also an active star, which means that it has flares, eruptions, and pulsations that create shock waves and dust clouds around it. It is also a dying star, which means that it will eventually explode as a supernova, creating a spectacular show of light and matter. Finally, let's talk about the occultation event, which is the main topic of this video. What is an occultation, you may ask? Well, an occultation is a rare event 
when one celestial object passes in front of another and blocks its light. It can happen between any two objects, such as the moon and the sun, the moon and a planet, a planet and a star, or an asteroid and a star. It can help us learn more about the size, shape, and surface features of both objects, as well as their distance and position in space. The occultation of Betelgeuse by 319 Leona will happen on December 12, 2023, at around 10.30 p.m. local time. It will be visible from some parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia, depending on the weather and the location, and it will last for about five seconds, during which Betelgeuse will disappear behind 319 Leona and reappear on the other side. The occultation will cause a sudden drop and rise in the brightness of Betelgeuse, which can be measured and analyzed by astronomers and amateurs alike. This is a rare and a very valuable opportunity to study both objects in detail. It can help us determine the exact size, shape, and surface features of 319 Leona and compare them with other asteroids. It can also help us probe the atmosphere, wind, and spots of Betelgeuse and test our models of stellar evolution and variability. However, the occultation also poses some challenges and uncertainties, such as the accuracy of the predictions, the quality of the observations, and the interpretation of the data. To observe this occultation, you will need a telescope, a camera, and a software that can record and measure the changes in brightness. You will also need to know the exact time and location of the occultation, and the coordinates of Betelgeuse and 319 Leona. You can find all this information and more on the websites of the International Occultation Timing Association and the European Asteroidal Occultation Network, which are the main organizations that coordinate and promote the observation and analysis of occultations. You can also join a local astronomy club or group that is planning to observe this event or watch it online on a live stream or a video. In conclusion, this occultation is a rare and valuable opportunity to study both objects in detail. It can help us learn more about the origin and evolution of the solar system, the dynamics and stability of the asteroid belt, the life and death of stars, and the risks and opportunities of space exploration. It is also a beautiful and awe-inspiring spectacle that can inspire curiosity and wonder in anyone who witnesses it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.